Hey, what's going on, guys? Tyler here. Not log.zip, because when I'm in person, it's me, Tyler. Sup? <laughs> I just got back from a camping trip. We went up to the sand dunes, I think the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. And I went camping for about two and a half days, was completely off the grid. And by completely off the grid, of course I filmed it. I only filmed on my Snapchat, which is why you see, I think probably like right here, a big old vertical screen. Everyone hates them. I hate them especially. But I did a Snapchat video of my time there. None of the snaps went through, and I actually lost like half of them because I ran out of storage space. But I like saved the video that way I could just show you a little bit later. Super fun trip, just a little getaway with some friends. I'd never, I hadn't been camping in, other than my RV trip last August, have not been camping since I was probably 14. So it was super cool to just get off the grid, not worry about, you know, step away from the computer for a little bit. And I had such an awesome time meeting new people, new friends, new experiences. And oh my gosh, we got some stuff to show you. So I'm going to show you right now. I keep hitting my mic. I'm the worst human. Uh, if you enjoy these little Snapchat vlogs, uh, let me know and I'll do some more. With that, direct your attention. Wherever the stupid thing is, direct your attention. This is a short clip. Uh, again, some pretext. I literally lost my entire first day there of snapping. I just forgot to save the story or what have you. I wasn't thinking about it. So I lost pretty much everything for my first day. Super unfortunate, but we're going to move on. So here's the only clip I have from day one, and this is us actually getting into the mountains. We'll play it. Riveting. I know. Crazy stuff, right? So that's us heading into the mountains. Uh, some pretext. We uh, had we, we, we had uh, 14 human beings with 14 people, including myself, and four like SUV vehicles, and we went off-roading on this crazy rocky path, probably like 40 minutes just up into mountains. Rocks all over the place. We're stepping on these rocks. They're hitting the undercarriage of the vehicles because there's stuff filled with people. Poor driver, our friend Justin, he was just like, oh, my car is being destroyed. And it totally was. And I felt so bad. I'm just glad it wasn't my car. My car wouldn't have been able to do it. But yeah, we set up camp there. And with that, we're going to go ahead and switch over to day two, which is footage I have the entire thing of. And it was the day we went to the sand dunes, which was arguably the more important thing to record. So we'll switch to that. Okay, here we are. Day two slash, I guess, night one. This is all I have from the first day. So bummed because it was so fun watching everything get impacted in the first few. But anyways, here we go. Next day. Fire. It's beautiful. Fire. Oh, I guess we did have some stuff from the first night. Awesome. So, yeah, we had a little hook of things set up. Again, some forewarning. I'm 24 years old. And I grew up around a Persian family, and I like me some hookah, which I'm allowed to smoke. I'm not saying you should go smoke it. I'm just saying everyone here was age 24 to like 28. We are all allowed. So go give it to me. I don't want to hear it. All right. Anyways, let's go. So here is day two. Waking up. This is what I wake up, see my tent. This is what I wake up to. So cool. Look at that. Could you imagine just waking up to that? So wild. Sleeping was the worst. I could not get any sleep. There were like rocks under my sleeping mat. Ants. If you'll notice, I'm all sorts of bit all over the place. These are like, these are gnarly little bug bites. Can you see? Uh, oh, dang, I'm hitting my mic. Look at that. It's gross. I got hit all over the place. Wasn't a fan. Moving on. Here's a picture of mountains. <laughs> and uh, this is us heading towards sand dunes today, as you saw, and just, well, as you'll see. Look, the sand dunes. Now, if you don't know, the sand dunes are just this crazy point in Colorado, uh, pretty far south. I think it's like four, four and a half hours south of where I live now in Denver. And it's this crazy point where a little creek slash marsh separates yourself between the mountains. Mountains? Well, I know the screens. The mountains and desert. And we were right in the middle there. You'll see in the video. In fact, I'll play it. So look, there's the dunes. Crazy. This is in Colorado. I didn't know this existed. What a difference. So I want, I want to show you again what, what, what we just witnessed here. Look. Are you ready for this? One side, complete desert. Other side, snowy peaks. What a difference. Yes, it is, Tyler. Dora Explorer episode. Oh Pass God. over the mountains. Yeah. Through the marsh, yeah, and get to the dunes. Ah, yeah, it literally was. There was like total different obstacles. On our way over, I thought it was like a mirage. Turns out there was like a little mini creek. 
that you have to pass through. It's basically runoff water from the mountain peaks that you just saw in the video. And yeah, on the other side is just these crazy sand dunes that we went to the very top of. It was such a hard hike. So awesome, though. So here's us heading up the hill. As you can see, it looks like we're in the desert right now. Just middle of nowhere is how it felt. But no, we're just in Colorado. And yeah. Look at all the sand. <laughs> Got a long ways to go, too. Look how steep. It was so steep. It, if I could, if I, it was probably like, um, I want to say literally probably like that in terms of walking. And it was on sand. So I was sinking into the ground. I was basically on all my hands and knees just trying to make to the top there was ridiculous. People, my friends, so in shape doing like cartwheels and stuff at the top. I'm just like, I sit in the chair for 15 hours a day, man. You got to let me catch up. Oh, people were sandboarding. Look at that. Oh, I wish we brought a board. All the way so, by that white tent. See, we start there. Look at this. And that's what's left. Man, that's the peak. That's probably what you're not seeing is from where we started to that peak. Probably a good like 30 to 45 minutes to get there. Even though it's so close, it's just all climbing. Man, it was a workout. Man, but now... I wish I could show you. I wish I could literally explain to you how it felt. So we make it to the very, very top, and you can see everything around you. Right as we get to the top, though, whipping winds, like 40 miles an hour wind, destroying everybody. Right as everyone got to the top, they turned around. They're just like, well, we're going back down because it was ridiculous. The sand was just smashing everybody. Oh, it's just like waves of just sand grains just hitting your face smacking you over and over and over again it was like it didn't hurt but you didn't want to be there and it got in everything needless to say there is still sand like in my hair that even after like two or three showers not coming out sand in places i didn't know existed i don't want to get into details let's just go take it back oh it's raining yes if you can see i kind of pause it's kind of hard to tell it started raining and hailing so when we got again, because I'm I'm a little I'm a big boy and I sit in my chair all day, so I don't move as fast as some of these other athletics. But a couple of my friends that made it up to the top of the hill before us, it started hailing in addition to the wind when they got up. That's why they kicked it all the way back. You know, they're just like, all right, enjoy getting to the top. We already had our fun. You're in for some trouble. When we got to the top, though, hail had stopped. But on the way back is when, as you saw, it started to rain. Rain plus whipping winds plus 30 minute walk back. Well, it wasn't that bad on the way back. It's probably like 15 minutes to get back. Either way, not as fun. Oh, man. So here's the little creek we have to cross. <laughs> as if we don't have enough water. So, see, big old water thing had to cross through it. Coldest water of my life. We took our socks and shoes off so they didn't get wet. I literally, on the way back, I was freezing. Because we're in the desert. So I, I dressed, like, fairly appropriately, nothing too hot or ridiculous. But then it just turned into hail and rain and wind and the coldest water in the land. Awful. So there you go. That's – this is pretty much where the, I guess – so there's the street that you park along, the road or whatever. This picture was taken pretty much right next to that road. And it's so hard to tell because you, you don't have any humans for comparison. But – if I could show you, you see, you see, you see the mouse here. Try and try and look at the mouse on my screen. You see the little bottom part of the mouse, not the triangular point, but the little tail of the mouse. I would say divide the tail of that mouse into like one third the size in terms of height. That's how tall the humans were. That in terms of reference for how far away we were, we made it all the way to the top of that. So much fun. Yeah. This is our way back. We had a little dog, Oliver, cutest little dog, keeping watch over us, barking whenever. Oh, it was gross. Um, on our hike, well, I'll get to Oliver. That. <laughs> Here's our campsite. Pretty cool stuff. Ooh, oh, I want to show you the campsite. This is that's funny. That's yoga. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, here's our campsite. Literally just like in the middle of nowhere. So cool. I hadn't really done that before. You know, I had done it, but just when I was a kid, you know, it didn't count. Super neat, though. 
yoga. But, so but, a couple of the girls that we went camping with, they, they're all about the yoga. It's hilarious. So I just recorded them basically failing all so the So, Sammy, words. put your weight in your hand so Lauren doesn't have that much weight. You got it. <laughs> fails, fails, fails. All the way. Oh. Okay, halfway. Yeah, got it that time. That's awesome. I wish I could. Bring it down, girls. Oh, here's good. We we had a we had a Blink 182 session. You know, we were drinking a little bit. You know, things happen when you drink. You start singing, even though you can't sing. Again, remember my age. All right, don't drink. It's bad for you. Is that is that better? You want me to say, don't drink, all right? I'm a terrible person because I'm drinking. I'm not, but just, all right. Where are you? And I'm still sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot breathe tonight. <laughs> that is, well, I'm not going to pause there because that's the worst place I could. Oh, oops, it ended. Okay, and then at the end there, we're probably just the most delicious. <laughs> Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, I missed it. Well, there's just some great hot dogs and deliciousness. Um, but yeah, that's that's all the footage. Uh, what you missed on day one was pretty much just us setting up camp. Um, you know, a little jamming session with guitars that were brought. And then we went on a hike. Scariest thing. So not only prop, not only like in our campsite, within like the campsite area where everyone was camping, but on our first hike on the first day that you didn't see, two separate, two separate deer legs, two separate deer legs found. Now me, I never camp. All the people around us were just like, ah, it'll be fine. But all I can think is bear, bear, I'm going to die. How am I going to upload videos if I'm going to die? If I'm dead, no one's going to be able to play Minecraft. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, but yeah, we were fine. Super. Oh man, I wish you guys had the... Day one footage. It was so cool. I tried so hard. No one even saw it because I didn't have any signal. It literally just disappeared from the world. Because the way Snapchat works is once you've once it's been 24 hours, it'll disappear off your story. No one saw it. But me. And that's all that matters. All my friends and I had such a great time camping. And I'm able I'm glad I was able to share at least one day of my camping experience with you guys. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh I usually Snapchat all my trips, so if you want to see more little Snapchat vlog reviews. I don't really know what this is. You let me know by dropping a like on the video. It'd be much appreciated if you could do that for me. And thanks so much for subscribing, my friends. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Minecraft videos. And, uh, other than that, take it easy. Yeah.